couple of days ago, uh, Nicolina was playing Burnt Toast famous um, outing of me and my uh, blog. And one of the articles that she cited was about twerking. And she starts about two thirds of the way down. This is the actual article. Huffington, well, the name of it is Twerking, a Traditional African Dance. Um, Huffington Post. Shame on you, Molly Cyrus. You, you know better. Stop the twerking. It ain't cool. That was a tweet from Huffington Post. Um, and I guess Al Sharpton retweeted it. Why is the reverend reprimanding Molly for tw twerking? Why are so many black people ticked off about it? Well, apparently, and according to the following article, twerking is a traditional African ritual dance. In her latest video, Poured Up, Rihanna is sending a message to Molly Cyrus as well. Anyway, the message, twerking, belongs to the African-American community. Rihanna reclaims twerking, and there's an article. This is quoting an article. I get how twerking, as exhibited across black America in recent years, has often been symptomatic of bigger societal ills. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading because it's so small. Sexism, misogyny, male privilege, exploitation, but the rhythmic movements definitely have distinct African roots. The internal dialogue that needed to be had amongst our people about the evolution of this kind of dancing never really happened in earnest, and now the hell appropriate mainstream popular culture has convinced the world that it's just a trend invented by a Disney star. Rihanna's poured up while subversive and problematic in many ways is also equal parts a statement and a reclamation of sorts. It's Rihanna's way of saying, this is ours. And for that, I appreciate her. Jermaine Spradley, multicult multicultural editor. Mr. And this is now me. Mr. Spradley, you've piddled on my leg and now you have, and now you're telling me it's raining. Shame on you. Rihanna's video is about strippers who dance like strippers. Strippers have been shaking their money makers for centuries and most have been to Africa, most have never been to Africa, nor have they seen the video you source. African Street Kids, that's the name of a video that was sourced by Mr. Sradley. To learn this traditional African art of twerking, nice try though. And so this is where Toast starts the article without all the context. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Lovely. So yeah, there's more, let me see. The name of the actual article was, I think, twerking is the new African dancer. It was something like that. It was pretty disgusting. And then in this uh, particular blog post, she says, by the way, in what African village did they learn to swing from poles, smoke, and stuff money in their G-strings? Did they also whistle while they twerked? I'd post the words to this yin yang song. Wow but they are too degrading to women, even women like Rihanna to repeat. Hopefully whistling was not part of the street kids dance. What? What? Wow. Now mind you, Constance Sue was part of the burnt toast community, heels in the air, savage, queen bee, yada, yada, yada. And you know what? Connie comments on a post of heels in the air and says, I will always support you. This is blatant racism. So when Heels in the Air comments on her live stream from uh, Wednesday into early Thursday morning saying she was now going to start covering me with Constance Sue, I have a fucking problem with that. I have a fucking problem with this. Like, I do go real life, bitch. You better not live close to me because Connie's not close enough for me to reach out and fucking touch. If you are, I will. I don't care, hospice or not, bitch. So, allegedly, Heels is gonna help Constance expose me. There's nothing to expose. Connie's already done it five million times, 24 seven. That's all, she lives, eats, shits, and breathes, Nicolina. I just don't think it would be in Heels' best interest. I mean, unless she likes all the hate and negativity, and if she's allegedly in hospice and wants to spend her end days with those psychos, well, let her have it. 
I will fucking go real life. I will dox the fuck out of you if you fuck with me first. You fuck with me, I'm fucking back. So, I'm telling you. She should probably fight for her life and not fight for Constance and fuck with me. That would be the way she should spend the end of her days if she's on hospice. Not fucking with me. Coming to me, who were around back in the day on Twitter, who saw her tweeting and trolling these victims, uh, the victims' families on Twitter. And I'm just like, you are just like the people that I already review. I, I just, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the fact that she tried to make this, well, the blog about Ben Crump. Really? Because it seemed like most of the blog was you bitching about how you were claiming that some guy was not actually black. And like, <laughs> if you do any- I love you, traitor. <laughs> Just saying, if she is on hospice, I'm gonna have to go harder on her because I ain't got a lot of time to fuck, fuck her up. <laughs> you talk to Heels, Noel. Tell her. It, this is not a battle because we'll go harder on her than we will on Constance, just to prove a goddamn point. I want, ask her, I want a link. I'd like to go up and just talk to her nicely and ask her what she is doing. If she's like, what is her end goal with me? But yeah, I'd love to have a link. I'd love to have a link and ask her, why are you willing to, I won't talk about her hospice, but why would you want to spend the, your end days fucking with us? I would, I would just like to come ask you, why, why, hey, hey, white boy, why, okay. why you would go to Connie, you were in Connie's chat uh, Thursday, oh. stating that you were going to help her expose me. No, I didn't. I never said that. What did you say? I didn't say that. What did you say? I don't remember, but I didn't say that. What, what do you mean? What did I say? I was chatting. I probably said a lot of things. Okay. So do you know me? Um, I know of you and I... What do you know of me? She's an asshole. Nicolina, just a, a lot of things that I've seen and heard. But you asked me if I said I was going hey, to want you to have make videos heard, you on have you. Heard. I you said I wouldn't because my subs wouldn't be interested. In, Thank I, you. I, That's I don't all I needed to know. Well, then, okay. That's all I needed to know. I mean... I, I am in a drama community where we all do fuck shit to each yeah, other. That's right. all we do. Connie is also part of the fuck shit and she intentionally misconstrues everything for her own weird obsessive narrative. As you can see, most of her lives are obsessively about me taking things out of context, not giving any backstory. So me, myself, I am just, I want to know for myself because I, if you're on hospice, that means I only have a short amount of time to fuck with you. So I want you to leave me alone, leave my community alone. Because what have I done to you? I'm saying what I was sent in screen. You're gonna, you, wait, wait, wait. Are you, you're threatening to fuck with me? Because no, I'm, if you're gonna fuck with me, the way it okay, was- Okay, we've already settled, settled that, right? Right. We've right. already settled I'm that. You. So you're I gonna- I don't have any problems with you. It is unnecessary. Let I don't want any problems with okay. you. Okay. okay. Perfect. So it's settled. Uh, I just want you to know it wasn't just what you said in her chat, but she has made comments about you in other chats that you were also going to help her expose. There's nothing to expose. Anything I do, I will tell you I do it. I will do it on a live stream and I have no shame and you're yeah. not going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me unless I get terminated and I still will be here. I don't want you to be brought into this as a way for you to bring yourself back from being a racist. Oh, girl, no, it okay. wouldn't be that way. Connie and I have been together as far as we started out as clip channels. I understand that. Time. Okay, so that's my, that's, con that's our relationship. Okay. I go into her chat and I talk and then I go, or you two would go to other chats. Correct. I said in her chat that my subs wouldn't be interested. I wouldn't be interested. Perfect. I don't like going to where people are screaming at each other and doing fuck shit. Okay. Because it's just not interesting to me. Then, then, then we're fine. But I just succinctly recall being on a panel where you were on a panel. Connie was trying to call me out. I have uncovered so much about her from 
different. You and I were on a panel. Hold on. I want to say this on your, on <laughs> because you guys were. How could you go real life? I have found two families she has now gone real life on with receipts. Nobody will hold her accountable for going after these people with CPS, with the police, with news agencies. And I'm not just talking about Andrew Hills because I'm not in this true crime bullshit where people exploit tragedies. But going through your old blog, you, uh, all, you, you are very racist. I hope that you okay. are no, I hope you are no longer in that, that frame. And I know people grow and I know people change. But I don't want to have to fucking put more, uh, like energy out for other channels that mm -hmm. Connie's trying to influence with her, her very twisted narrative. I am not BHB. I am not anything like her. This is drama. Okay, Nicolina, I've been going that's in it. this chat. That's all I wanted to say. For we a year. like drama. We like to fuck with people. They fuck well, with, us. Fuck with people. people. That's I don't. I, I know. No that's why I wanted to ask you. Did I misunderstand the context behind the comments of the screenshots that were sent to me? That is well, it. You didn't see a screenshot that said anything like I'm going to go after. You wanted to help us. Then are you like, do you drink, take any opiates, any benzos? Do I mean, have the screenshot. I'm because asking, there's not one. I'm asking because the that's way kind of your damn business. You're the asking way it was, me. The way it was oh, interpreted shit. was that you like who. We're gonna help Connie gonna expose Nick. You can't expose me anymore. I expose. I said you. I'm going to help Connie expose. Nick. What is there to expose? Why there isn't? There isn't. Even care. Okay, we're cool then. Thank you. Have a nice night. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. She's not. She's. Not, she ain't gonna fuck around. I, I don't, I don't really need to deal with a fucking woman that's dying, but I won't, I will do it. Like fucking stay over there in your fucking true crime bullshit, man. That's, man, stay where you belong. This is not where you belong. You do not belong over here. I do that. I protect my family and my job and the rest of my life from the weird people on this internet. So I do not put my personal information out there, but that is not what we're talking about. What I do know is that if it happens to them, their children, they will think back at that moment in time and they will say, this is my karma. Every fucking blog post is it about an African-American child who died by some type of violence or well, we'll just say they died period, right? And every single one of them blames the parents says the parents aren't acting the right way, um, says that the kids were in gang, so what did you think was gonna happen? Uh, did you see that I went up on heels last night? Well, yes, well, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see it. I came, I popped in afterwards, but somebody said you were up there being mean. I was like, what do you mean being mean? And she, you said something about your, um, something about being on hospice, and if you're, yes. if you are, I only got seven, a little bit of time to fuck with you or something, and I'm like, that's fucking mean. Well, I mean, that's what she used as her excuse to not be exposed for racism. So I was just, I, I. Well, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she used that as a excuse, but I do think it's like, I don't, think, I mean, I don't think it's anybody's business. You know what I mean? Like that's personal. Like I would be fucking well, personal. I wouldn't let. I well, so I mean, she nice. used that, she used that with burnt toast as a way for burnt toast not to expose her. And I think that that is just like somebody trying to say don't do this because even though i'm a terrible well, yeah, we, we hold on baby because me and burn toast was back there together with her she, and she didn't say it like it just like blurted out uh she didn't say it like um to you know what i'm saying like she wasn't trying to say it to get out of like you know what I mean? Like it she just, blurted out in private. It came out. Back. Yeah, it like came out that way. It wasn't like she I was accident. using it that I was thought. You know what I mean? Like I didn't take it as that. So um, what I'm doing, listen, you you all know we're I'm I'm part of a drama community and right, I have been but, I have been dealing with um constant like Sue constant Sue mm -hmm. and her psychotic obsession with twisting everything I say and do to fit this weird narrative. And Heel, she had, uh, Constance had done like a 14 hour stream on Thursday and no, I'm not hateful Virgo. I'm just, 
I'm yeah, I'm an a-hole. I am. But she was like talking about helping her expose me. And I'm like, expose what? Like, yeah, that's what, okay. So when you had asked me and I, I mean, I was like, what the hell? Cause I've never heard her talk about, like, I've never heard her say anything about exposing you or, you know what I mean? Like she's never talked about you. She doesn't like, um, her subs are usually more for like the Betty and JLR. You know, Correct. That, you know what I mean? This was, this was over at Connie, Constant Sue's. Oh, okay. You, okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. Her stream, you mean? Gotcha. Yeah. I'm like, why would heels get involved in this? Like I said, I mean, I like you as your as a person. I don't like everything you do. You don't like everything I do. We don't have to like everything each other does. But I mean, I do like you. I, I get along with you fine. I mean, like I said, I don't like everything you do. You don't like everything I do. That's, I mean, you do what you do. You do, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. It is what it is, you know? Well, and I appreciate you explaining this stuff too. Cause I was like, oh, my feelings were kind of hurt. Cause I mean, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not like that. As, I mean, I know you would never fucking hurt somebody that's on hospice or anything like that. You know what I mean? No, I was, you know, I say and do a lot of things just to be bombastic, but the thing with Connie is just at this point, it's so old, unless you are sitting in my live streams and understanding the context of everything in its entirety, what Connie does is manipulate that to um, right. very foul voodoo. I am very foul. Absolutely. But anyways, I wanted to stop in and say hi. I didn't mean to disrupt it to where your chat is very angry. You either oh, love yeah. it. That's all there is to it. But you have a wonderful Saturday. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right, baby. Thank you for popping up. All right. Bye-bye. Shit on here. It's like I said, I, I don't agree with the shit she does. I don't, you know, she doesn't agree with, people don't agree with some of the shit I say and do. I don't agree with everybody, but I keep an open panel and everybody's welcome. Anybody's welcome to pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, oh, everybody but me. Just kidding, but for real. Um, so I guess it's pretty much out there. What I told Burnt Toast, from what I remember, I was super upset and I said, my address is going to be out there. I'm on hospice. In a kind of precarious uh, situation, JLR sends letters to neighbors, and my neighbors on three sides of me are black. And so I certainly didn't expect her to go live and blurt it out because it wasn't her place to do it. But, you know, she said a lot of things um, during that time that were wrong and that were hateful. Also, Burnt Toast had no control over the information that was coming out. I was asking for advice on whether I should go live now or go later. That was it. She had no control over it. The people I care about and who care about me, no more. I have given my paperwork to a couple of people because... I knew if someone asked them, they could say they've seen it. I asked them not to pass it around. I have been on hospice since March, not for three years, like Nicolina thought she knew to say in her life. Um, please just leave it for me. Thanks. <laughs>